other bags at the bottom of the camera. What's going on guys? This week, Marcos, Ryan, and me are in Eugene, Oregon. We are running the Eugene Marathon this weekend. We flew this morning from Austin to Portland, Oregon, which is where we are at now. Um, and then we're gonna take the scenic route down to Eugene. We're gonna go down the coast, check out a whole bunch of stuff there all day today and uh, see what Oregon is all about. I also, I missed out on the memo for the uh, bear hoodie and Camo BPN you hat. Really fucked that one up, you? He looks a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go get some juice. We're at the Pacific Ocean. This is Ryan's first time seeing the Pacific Ocean. I have never seen. Have you seen it before? I have not either. I have never seen the waters of the Pacific Ocean. We are about to get lunch. We're in Lincoln City, Oregon. There's the ocean right there. Looks like snot. Let's see it. I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it. <laughs> it tastes like fish flavored jello. Yeah, I don't think Tastes like the ocean. We got cool rocks in Oregon. All right, lunch at Kylo's was delicious. Now we are just cruising down the Oregon coast down Highway 101. We're just kind of hitting spots that look cool. We found this neat little place called Boiler Bay. Just beautiful. We got mountains behind us, and then you got the Pacific Ocean and these just cliffs and rocks. And this place is pretty epic. This place is just impressive. Black sand beach, not really sand, it's just like, what are these? Just big nice. black rocks, like lava rocks almost. I don't know what kind of rocks these are. It feels like we're on another planet down here. That's the only way I can describe it. It's just like, you've got cliffs, you've got a lighthouse, you've got this cool black sand, you got these like crazy rocks out in the water. If you've never been to Oregon, you gotta get your butt over here. We're getting near the end of our journey on the coast here. We've got another 45 minutes, maybe an hour left, but we've seen a lot of stuff today and we've only hit just a tiny chunk of the coast. And we're not even to Eugene yet. I mean, we're just getting started. This is gonna be a great weekend. We still got a marathon to run this weekend, so it's gonna be a good one. All right, we just got to our Airbnb here in Eugene. Beautiful day of driving through Oregon, checking out the coast. We saw so many things. Um, we've also been up for, how long have we been up for? You were doing the math. We've been up for 21 hours. We left Austin at like 3 a.m. this morning. So uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Oregon is pretty sweet. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it is Saturday morning. We are about to go hit a little two, 
two and a half mile shakeout run. We're gonna go run to Hayward Field, which is where the marathon will finish tomorrow. How are we feeling today, boys? Great. Feeling great? Yes, we're feeling good. back from our shakeout run we had about two and a half miles just super easy like a 10 minute pace felt really good now we got some breakfast cooked up we got some scrambled eggs we've got english muffin with peanut butter honey jelly banana my goodness we're feeling good we're fueling up tomorrow's gonna be a great day also with breakfast we're drinking a nice cold glass of beet juice if you don't know beet juice is in my opinion the secret sauce to endurance. It's loaded with nitrates, which increases the nitric oxide levels in your body, which increases blood volume and muscle contraction efficiency, all these different things. There's a bunch of studies on it you can look up, but drinking beet juice or beet root juice extract, my goodness, this stuff is the key to endurance training. Gotta get some more beet juice in your life. All right, we are in downtown Eugene, going to the packet pickup, go grab our race bibs and race shirts and whatnot. This downtown is pretty cool. Shirts are not bad. I saw the design, I was a little skeptical. Let's see them, let's see them. Um, pull that baby out. What? You're gonna make me pull it out. Yeah, They're white. Just it up. Ooh. You're looking that's like sick. that. Running in the footsteps of legends. Oh, yep. That's, that's sick. That'll do Legend. it. Okay, it is about 5 p.m. Saturday night. We got the race tomorrow morning. I thought I'd go over my nutrition and my gear for tomorrow. So to start with nutrition, I've got spring energy gels. These things are great. They're made with whole foods. Each one is 180 calories and 45 grams of carbs. I love these things. They taste just like applesauce and they go down super easy. So I'm going to have two before the race, one about an hour before and one immediately before the race. And then I'm doing one every four miles throughout the race. And then before the race, I've also got some BPN GNM Sport, which is carbs and sodium. I will have a scoop, two scoops of this before the race, and then another scoop during the race. BPN electrolytes, 500 milligrams of sodium. I'll have a scoop of this, probably two scoops of this before the race and one during the race. And then for gear, I've got the Nike AeroSwift shorts. I've got the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent. Two, I think that's what these are called. I don't know. The Nike Vapor Flies. Everybody wears them. These things are crazy light and super fast. Got the BPN going more endurance hat. I wear this on every run ever. My favorite hat. And then I got some Saucony socks. And then last, I've got the Nike Aero Swift tank. Super lightweight, very thin. Can hardly tell that it's even on while you're wearing it. All right, that is it. That is the fuel and the gear for tomorrow. I'm feeling good. We are about to make some dinner. We are making a big old thing, a pasta. Carbo loading, baby. So for dinner tonight, we're having chicken sushi. Um, as you can see here, it's done. 
um, about ready to dig in. Um, this is, uh, I'm real excited for this one. Marcos, what are we actually eating? All right, so we're actually having, we're going to bake some chicken tenderloins. We've got this water boiling on the stove right now. We're going to do some pasta. It's going to be our last meal before the race tomorrow. So. Heck yeah. Rigatoni. Rigatoni. Send that to Nikki Cat. All right, it is race day. It is uh, about 5.50 a.m. We've uh, already got some coffee in, English muffin, all of our fuel. We're, we're ready to go. Coach Jeff is here. I've got coffee and I've got adrenaline. That's all we need, baby. What's the uh, What's the plan for today, Jeff? What, what are we looking to do here? Well, we're going for sub three. And so the plan is to go out 6.50-ish pace, sit on that. We're super fit. We won the weather lottery today. It's a flat course. It's going to feel easy. We're sticking on that for the first 18 to 20 miles, staying on our calorie and our hydration schedules. Then when we get to 20 miles, if you feel good, you just run like a horse sniffing water and we're gonna finish this thing up. That's what we're gonna do. Hell yeah. We're I gonna love kick a lot of ass is what we're actually gonna do here. That's the plan. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go do it, baby. All right, sub three, we'll see you guys after the race. hours 58 minutes into our marathon our marathon are still plenty of time here to hit the track and break that three hour barrier jeremy miller from round rock texas under three hours all right we just got back to our airbnb from the eugene marathon and it was a great day for everybody marcos how'd we end up over there it was awesome Sub 140. Sub 140. Beat your goal. Crushed your goal. Yeah. Ryan, how we fair? Did good, man. We we're under 150. Surprising, but feels good. I guess smashed, smashed goals. Everybody's smashing goals. Finished with sub three hour marathon, two hours, 58 minutes, and 16 seconds. All due to this guy right here. It was a hell of a day. It was a hell of a day when it all comes together and everybody gets a PR. We have 100% PRs today in Eugene. And uh, well, there's not more than 100%. So that's the best day we could have possibly had by far. Unbelievable, but believable. All right, it is Sunday morning. We are moving out of our Airbnb, packing up the car, and then we're gonna be driving back up to Portland for our flight this evening back to Austin. It has been a great weekend. Everybody hit PRs for their races. Everybody smoked their goals. It was a great weekend. We got to see a big chunk of the Oregon coast. Got to see all kinds of cool stuff this weekend. That is the Eugene Marathon weekend with Marcos and Ryan. Boys got any last words? It was fun, that's for sure. I have nothing to say. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.